What's up everybody? My name is Jay Waz and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator. Where in the last video we built this thing. This thing can achieve 314 miles an hour if you look right here. 313 miles an hour. I achieved that top speed with that car and it's absurdly fast. It's got about 1400 horsepower. Like that's just absolutely insane that it has that much horsepower. But anyway, I'm going to sell this car now. I forgot to do it in the last video. If I first I'm going to put some body panels on it so it can raise the value up. Right now it's at 98k. Let's see what happens if I add body panels. Alright, where is it at now? Oh my! Okay, that is way more than I thought I was going to get just because it is a Crown Vic. But at the same time, it does have 1400 horsepower. So, I mean... Yeah, that, that, it's a lot of money. Sold. Goodbye, good sir. This will be the next car I'll be working on today. But first, I'm going to go junkyard and choose my next car that I'll be working on after I finish that little customer's car thingy, whatever you call it, a 350Z thing. I once again forgot the English today. It's not going to get any better. Anyway, I'm going to search these junkyards, and I'm not going to make you guys watch me, so I will be right back. Alright, I think I found a car I'm going to get. Now, this is the Dodge Charger Daytona Coupe. Yeah, that's the real life variant. In the game, it's called the Tempest Magnum. The reason why I'm choosing this is so you can get the good old-fashioned V8 2-carb OHV Supercharged. That is a mouthful. And it is the most value of the bunch in here. I was going to get a Catfish Camaro. No, no, no. Is it the I don't know what that one version is called. Sold. Buying it. Bring it to the garage and uh, let's get started on a 350Z. I don't know why I chose another classic muscle car. Now I gotta deal with rods and push rods again. Push rods and what you call it? Rocker arm bullshit. Alright, let's see what is wrong with this thing. Oh, I should have looked at this beforehand. Four pages of crap that I gotta fix. I already see a lot that's wrong with it. So this might actually be easy to fix just because I can see it. You know what I mean? Of course the wheel alignment's bad. I just came here to test the suspension just to find that the engine can't be started. That is horrible. How does that even happen? Well, I do know that obviously the front suspension is horrible. I mean, do you... Yeah, you, you gotta, you can't miss that rust, that's impossible. I think it might have discovered the majority of what's wrong with this. Yep, it's just one page that has not, oh, okay, that and another page that hasn't been discovered. I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the first car lifter, and I'm gonna fix everything possible with this, with a car that I already hate, as it is. Even when it's perfectly fine, I still don't like them. Oh, I'm looking forward to leveling up so I can make that unscrewing, screwing, just screwing in general a lot faster. You know, this does sound wrong at all. It's got a low screw in this car's engine, you know. Oh, damn, I... I had to place some things that require this entire timing cover to be freaking off. Are you tell me I have to remove the oil pan to get a timing cover off? Are you serious? Oh yeah, I hate this car even more. That is so stupid! There's so many timing covers. Oh, oh, if I say this in junkyard, I'm not grabbing it. Hell no, nah, it, it, it's too much. This is so stupid! Who, who designs it like that? I'm never getting one of these cars. Ah, oh, once again, wasting fresh ass oil. I even had to take off the oil filter just to replace the oil pan. I hate this car. Finally. Oh my freaking duck! Ah! So many freaking screws on this stupid timing. I'm never, ever, ever, ever getting this freaking car. I had to take off something else? Please, somebody just kill me now. Get a 350Z, they said. It would be fun, they said. Yeah, not fun for the mechanic that has to fix it, because you know damn well you're not fixing it yourself. If this is actually how a 350Z motor is built, I'm never getting one in real life. Still learned my lesson on that. Oh, wait. This is a water pump, right? Okay, so I gotta drain it. Oh my, that's such a full coolant reservoir. Oh, bastards. I hate this car with the passion. I absolutely hate this car with the passion. Alright, alright, I'm done with the complaining. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I'll be right back. Get this stupid shit out of the way. Hey, I just leveled up. Let me just see. I now have 10 points available. I can get this something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this. And uh, let's do unmounting speed just because... That has proven to be valuable in my other account. Now my screw speed is 230%. I can screw at 230% of the speed. Once again, it doesn't sound wrong at all. Did I mention how much I hate these clips already? If I have, then it's necessary to mention it again. I absolutely hate those freaking clips. I don't know why I did a wheel alignment early. I knew I was going to have to do it again because the tie rods got replaced. Yep, yep, at least that's realistic. That's pretty cool, actually. I should now be done with it. Yes. Bye bye. Get that thing out of here. I never ever want to see it again. And I think I actually lost money on that. I don't. I don't know. I can't remember. All right. Let's move this thing in here and actually get to work on it. Now, if you're wondering why I chose this, even though I've already worked on this car before, it's because I never actually gave it a fully upgraded engine, and I never got the chance to even drive it. So, 
back in here we're gonna do some crazy work to this thing maybe maybe give it some oversized fat tires yeah anyway first things first let's remove the engine let's build a whole new one and i'm gonna replace everything on this car you guys could not have to worry about seeing that that's not i'm probably gonna keep that design actually that's pretty cool i should probably watch it but anyway yes i will do all that and i will be right back oh my god i actually thought what the hell i seriously that wasn't dirt was that not dirt yeah, yeah, that's that's a creative name right there. DW04. Yeah, it's totally not an alcohol for something. Alright, time to whip out the DW04. Yeah, that works. Alright, everything underneath and inside the engine bay has been installed. Finally, that took over an hour, but for you guys, it's only been this long. Ah, oh, sometimes I wish time worked a little differently. But time to get some fat boys. Uh, what have I done? But anyway, let's go and get some fat boys on this thing. The stock tire size is 245s. That is awfully small, but I don't think this car... Did it have a super... Yeah, it did have a supercharger. Why? I think if I want to go ultra wide, you know, like absurdly wide, if this is even possible, I can only do one tire to even figure out this would work, but the 23 is on this thing. Yeah, because that's completely something you would find on a classic muscle car. 355s? Oh, no, I think we should go wider. Yeah, let's do that. Is that seriously the max width? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 25 is the max size. 355 is the max width. Wow, that is not what I was expecting. Okay, so to get the max width, you gotta have 19 inch wheels. 70, okay. 19 inch. <laughs> okay, that profile might be a little big for 19. So, okay, I'm gonna figure this out. I'll be right back. Well, that works. I mean, 45 profile. It's not bad, actually. It actually fits really, really well. I wasn't expecting that. I'm impressed. So, 245... No. 355.45. Okay, that's what the tire size is going to be for the rear. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be 100% drivable. Please don't ask me what the hell I'm doing because I have no idea anymore. I mean, skinny boys for the front, right? And it makes 100% sense. Totally. I just got to find the quarters. God, that was a lame joke. But you know what? That's just me. Oh, no. <laughs> This looks like a drag car. That's exactly what that looks like. <laughs> it's so much gap. It's nowhere near flush in the front, but you know what? It's cool. Everything will be okay. It's going to be so fun to drive around the track. All right, top it off with fluids, get an alignment, and I'm going to take it straight to the dyno after that. Oh my god, that looks so weird. I should have probably chosen smaller tires or rims for the front if I was going to do that. Dyno time! Why can't they... Did I seriously forget a freaking starter again? Yes, yes, of course I forgot the starter. It's always the starter. All right, yes, please. Thank you. Start test. Okay. That's still a lot of power, but I'm actually slightly disappointed. But then again, it's got an absurd amount of torque, so I'm a little terrified at the same time. Especially with those skinny boys in the front. That was very stupid. Well, you know what? Let's see how this goes. I'm going to paint it, then I'm going to go. Yeah, we're going to go drive it. <laughs> yep, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Dom's color with the whole tent this race she is on the side. It's going to be a drag car, so I might as well. I mean, this might potentially be more powerful than Dom's car. <laughs> it's all good. I'm just gonna say, if it can achieve the top speed, I'm gonna be so happy. Cause that would even be- I'll be even faster than the Crown Vic. I haven't even checked the value yet, I'm actually scared to check the value, cause I don't want it to be less than the Crown Vic. Oh, oh yeah! Yeah, it's always gonna be easy to drive without a seat. I really don't know what the hell kind of seats these are, but I'm using them. Yeah, those seats just look ridiculous. They take up so much space. How is anyone gonna fit in the back seat? Anyway, let's go ahead and drive it to the speed track and see if we can beat some top speeds today. I actually kinda hope we do. Yeah, this thing can get up and go. It's not that fast, unfortunately. Wait, come, wait, 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 I could be wrong. Nope, nope, I'm right. I mean, don't get me wrong, 283 miles an hour, definitely not slow. Let's go try for another run up. Let's see how we do again in another attempt. I cannot believe we're being beat by a freaking Crown Vic. Well, I mean, it's still cheap 286 miles an hour. It's not the fastest car we built, but that's still pretty damn fast. I think it actually beats the um, the Impala, the Cape, the Mark IV. I, I'm not sure. All right, let's go take this to the racetrack. I'm absolutely terrified, as always, when driving a classic muscle car. I mean, you would think my opinions would have changed after the last video, which was Forza Horizon. 
But yeah, that it, things are a little different in this game. And here goes nothing. Up, oh, up, oh, here we go. Here we go. Typical classic American. You know, that probably doesn't help about skinny boys at the front. Here go. You know, it's actually better than the Apollo. Oh, I forgot to break it. I forgot to break it. I forgot. Yep, okay. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Break. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. I think we're good. Okay, I run the wall. That's not what I was trying to do. Um, I think I just beat my best time. Let's try again. Let's let's go another lap. Up, oh, up. Oh, it's gonna go well. Ah! Okay. That was not expecting that. Okay. Yep. It's safe to say. If I had not crashed, I probably would have got a better lap time. That's the best lap I've gotten out of the save so far. That's awesome. Maybe skinny boys aren't so bad in this game. The physics are odd in this game. Okay, okay, after all that, what did the value go up to? You're... You're joking, right? The Crown Vic was worth more. By almost 20 grand. How... how is that a thing? I can't believe that. That is so disappointing. It's got 990 horsepower. It's a better lap time than the freaking Crown, Crown Vic could possibly get. It's a classic with Mustang taillights for some reason. I don't know why. That, it resembles too much of an original Mustang. I don't, anyway, how does this have less value than a Crown Vic? How How is that a thing? Well, well that terrible disappointment It's time to end. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing Top Gear or some. I don't know. Anyway. It's just been going that way lately. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, for the love of God, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.